Hey there, I'm Chaz Tacular and welcome to episode 2 of American Arcadia. Uh, yeah, let's just jump straight in here. Well, so I should probably have mentioned this in episode 1, but there is an epilepsy warning for this game, so just be aware of that going in. But without further ado, let's continue. Do not break the fourth wall. Don't break it. I... I see you. Don't break it. Station. Please watch your step when exiting the car. Wow, look at this place. This is majestic. Definitely. It's not called the Grand Hotel for nothing. But we didn't choose it for the luxury. The Cygnus is the only hotel in Arcadia with a monorail station built inside. It's pretty fancy. So, what's the plan now? Oh, yes. To get you out like any other Arcadia tourist, you'll need one of those badges I told you about. Didn't you just say that all tourist areas are restricted unless you wear the badge? How am I going to get into your suite then? We'll have to slip you through the service zones and then get you to the room floors. Oh, I see. Makes sense. I don't see. I guess just take like service passages and stuff. All right. Riveting gameplay right here. I can I can barely even hold on to my seat. It's so riveting. Beyond this point, wear your access badge. Guess it's not even worth trying, is it? Ah, forget it. That door won't open. Just keep going until you find a storage door. I'll open it for you. Can I like? Oh, I can't close it behind him. Hey, oh. there's a giant. Those automatically. Storage cabinet blocking my way. Oh, I'll take care of it. Okay, how will I take care of it? Aha! Step. Oh. Oh, hello. Interesting. What does this camera do? Nothing. So let's bring this out. Oh. Hmm. So if I move this here. Does it go any further that way? Okay, okay, okay. So we'll move those back. Move this back. Then do that. And I'm I'm at a loss. I don't know what I'm doing. Help! Oh, 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 oh. Hello. Nope, nope, that way. Ha <laughs> Maybe? I don't think I actually accomplished anything there. How is this supposed to work? Okay. Which then... Doesn't... I don't think I'm actually accomplishing anything like I want to accomplish here. <laughs> what? How? Oh, dummy. Dumbo. The elephant. Okay, okay. Um... No. Now if I bring that back, that's still oh, in the I way. I had it. Uh, no, wait. I have to do that again. I have to do what again? Doing that again doesn't do anything. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not what I was hoping for. Uh huh. Hey, there's an empty cabinet in here. Trevor, do you think you can fit inside that empty cabinet? Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Trevor. Novax, I was wondering, 
Wouldn't it have been easier if you just entered Arcadia like a regular tourist and simply handed me the badge? No can do. I have to be here to operate the devices to help you. Okay, yeah, that's a valid point. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. So, there's a light. Okay. Let's try going these. No, that didn't really help at all. Okay, well, maybe that was... There we go. Man, Trevor's in a lot better shape than I am. For 28. Okay. Ah! Then I bring that back over there. Cool, cool. Alright, let's go, Trevor. Back into the vents, it looks like. Or like a dumbwaiter. Okay. Um, Kovacs? Yeah? You're always saying we are doing this, we are planning that. I'm gonna assume you're working with someone else, right? Yes. I'm a member of an activist group, so to speak. It's called Breakout. It's founders, well, let's just say you're not the first person who tried to escape from Arcadia. Who tried? The incident was known as the Arcadia 6 breakout. Although the event has always been categorically denied by Walton Media, in January 1992, six Arcadia-born citizens successfully evaded the confinement measures and managed to escape from the city. Wow. Shortly after, Walton Media was the target of several boycott actions that resulted in severe financial losses for the company and reignited the debate about the ethical treatment of Arcadia-born citizens. A group named Breakout released a statement taking responsibility for the actions. Its leader, known only by his alias, Number Six, claimed to be one of the escapees in the 1992 incident. We will never cease in our struggle against Walton Media until the company listens and all Arcadian prisoners are released. And if our words are not enough to make them listen, maybe our actions will be. A struggle that today, almost 30 years after the Arcadia 6 breakout, still continues. Okay. Interesting. Sounds like uh, Walton Media is falling on... Uh... Hard times. Sounds like another company I know. Now yeah, I'm crawling through a lot of vent shafts. Okay, we got gears and stuff. Jesus, this is really high. Again. How? Why do your escape plans always involve making me climb way up high? The most discreet route isn't always the safest one. Sorry about that. Thank you, everybody. You'll be a terrific audience. We're the squads, and we hope you're enjoying our music this evening here at the Steelers Pro Restaurant. And now, for your enjoyment, here's an instrumental version of Merle Jefferson's Don't Be a Fool. Not that song again, damn it. Oh, wow. What's the matter? Don't you like it? I liked it better before it became the theme song for Trevor Hill's worst day ever. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, interesting. It left it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. This is, uh, this is spicy. Um. Oh, 
It's too steep for him. Okay, jump! Now how do I... Oh crap! Crap! No! No! Ooh. And I have to start over. Awesome. Come on, Trevor. You got this. No! Why did I press that button? No, no, no. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. Saved it. Saved it. Saved it. Okay. Bring the head down. Walk over to the head. And bring the wings up. No. That's not what I wanted. Oh, I think I want to go down here. How do I get down there, though, safely? Hold up, hold up. Nope. Oh. I meant to do that. I totally meant to do that. Yep, yep, yep. That was all, all according to the plan. Every bit of it. Yes. Yes. Let's go. You know what, Kovacs? I was just thinking of this day when I was in fifth grade. Right before the bell rang, Scott Horvitz, the official class bully, picked on me. I didn't even fight back. But the teacher sent both of us to detention on Saturday. And because of that, I missed the trip to Comet Land that I'd been waiting for all year. Well, that miserable day is now a touching memory to cherish compared with today. Uh, I'm sorry, Trevor. Honestly, but it's the only way. Okay, so we got there a laundry, a laundry room. Ahead. Get inside and make sure you can't be seen. An auto droid will bring it to the room floor shortly. Piece of cake. Oh, Piece fun. Cake. Hey, at least this is clean laundry. That's something. <laughs> how how long am I supposed to wait in here, Kovacs? I don't know. My suite is in the ninth floor, so. The ninth floor? Shh, pipe down. The auto droid's coming. Listen, when you get into my room, you'll find a suitcase that, well, you don't need any further description. Let's just say that my suitcase really stands out. Hmm. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Three days ago. Next, please. Hello. Welcome to your holidays in Arcadia. Please leave your luggage on the conveyor belt. May I scan your Arcadia e-ticket, please? Sure, here you go. Just give me a second while I find your booking. That is a quite garish suitcase. Oh, here it is. Four nights in a deluxe suite at the Grand Hotel Cygnus for Sylvia Lauren, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Your deluxe suite includes the Insta delivery service for your vacation at no additional cost. So your bags will be in your room in just a few seconds. Oh, wow. That's convenient. Remember that you give your permission to open, search, check, and scan your luggage in case you've forgotten any modern technological devices inside it. <laughs> of course. But don't worry, there's nothing inside. I've been really careful. Great! Just a few more things. Before your entry day, you must take the Elijah Walton's Dream of Tomorrow ride down this hallway to the left. You don't have to wait in line. Speedway access is included with your deluxe booking. And finally, remember, on your entry day, don't wear any modern clothing, piercings, dyed hair, or any other fashionable items that might be considered anachronistic for the people of Arcadia. We love your look, but we can't let you break the fourth wall. <laughs> Will do. Thank you so much. Thank you, and enjoy your holidays in Arcadia. Ugh, two more seconds of corporate curtsy and I would have puked rainbows. <laughs> Next part of the plan. Gotta get this stupid thing inside my suitcase so Trevor can wear it. So you just sent your suitcase down the thing? How? What? What? What am I doing? So, okay. Right, so I want to know, what about the tattoos on her right arm? Isn't that anachronistic? Possibly? I don't know. Science always finds a way. 
live from the Arcadia Dome. I'm your most, I'm your host, Vivian Walton. Uh huh. So that, okay, so that's the Arcadia Dome that way. But the ride is over to the left. But how am I supposed to get the badge in the suitcase if I just sent the suitcase? That doesn't make any sense. Visiting Arcadia. Yeah, yeah, so we're higher than ever before. Comet land. Arcadia was never intended to be this crazy megalopolis. Oh, uh, so I guess this is like the original model. Huh. Oh, hey, I see the Grand Cygnus right there. Inac. Yep, yep. So what is that spire in the middle? Fascinating. Okay, well. As fun as it is to stare at models, I have a job to do. That monstrosity is so high that it even sticks out of the Arcadia Dome. Oh, really? Interesting. Poor fools. It's highly recommended for all Walton Media employees to install the AA app. It's also highly recommended for all Walton Media employees to give the AA app a five-star rating. <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. Do not break the fourth wall. Only a megalomaniac like Vivian would order her face to be carved in stone. Oh, so is the Don't Be a Fool song actually from within? Interesting. The Arcadia Atoms. The powerhouse in the field. Yeah. Elijah Walton's Comet Land, Arcadia's magical place. Grand opening. Buy your tickets now. Okay, yep. Don Walton and Senator Milton Burbank. Full. After that handshake, the Burbank Act allowed Walton Media to legally adopt and raise children. Okay. Okay, so it was Elijah's brother. Not that I'm a fan of the original American Arcadia, but it wasn't as bad as what we have now. Okay, so Elijah's brother is the Truman Show architect. Elijah was basically Walt. Disney. So are these like movie posters? The New Adventures of Comet, the Canine Cadet. Edna will handle it. Uh, Mohawk Mike. The punk is feeling lucky. <laughs> That's pretty good. And where darkness reigns supreme, the castle keep. Huh. That's pretty cool. This movie is so cool. I love dark fantasy. It almost kind of reminds me of like Stranger Things in a way, but also just like general 80s dark fantasy. Looking at things like Mohawk Mike, it's no wonder everybody says the 80s were the worst era for Walton Media shows. Edna, I'm home! <laughs> <laughs> I revisited some episodes recently. Still hilarious. I think. I saw some episodes of this Comet reboot. Not bad, but it didn't have the charm of the classic shorts. Interesting. So so there's a lot of, like, a lot of references in this game. Uh, and, like, homages to other works. So, like, the, the Walton Media W, for example, it it recalls, in my mind, both uh, Vought from The Boys on Amazon and also Westworld. Uh, from HBO. I don't know how they managed to do that, and if I'm the only one that saw both of those connections, I'm probably not. But it's fascinating to me nonetheless. I worked on the reboot during my first six months here. It was affected by the big shutdown of 2018. The big shutdown of 2018, huh? Excuse me, pardon me. Uh, you weren't, you weren't looking, are you? Yeah, okay. And science always finds a way. 
My childhood was built on Arpad Kovacs hmm. playing songs about science to his piano. Interesting. Architects of Tomorrow. Best TV show ever. Period. All right. It was in this season that American Arcadia went from being a family reality show to the horrible human zoo it is now. Wow. That guy won everything, even the Oscar for Best Picture. A little Elijah Walton? Huh. That's cool. The most watched media phenomenon on the planet. Interesting. When I was a kid, I used to blink my left eye every now and then to see if I could do magic like Ginger the Witch. <laughs> People thought I was having a seizure. Interesting. So Dick Van Dyke, that's that's a real person. I'm not familiar with Kim Novak, but it's interesting the the blend of like reality and fantasy. Oh, I love this movie. A 1946 classic with Joan Fontaine and Gregory Peck. What a weeper. The ending always brings me to tears. Interesting. So, Call of the Sea is actually another game by this uh, same studio, uh, which I happened to also pick up um, with this during a sale. So, if you want me to play the Call of the Sea later, let me know down in the comments. The award-winning 1950s film. Uh, amidst the darkness of war, hope struck like a bolt out of the blue. The achievement. Huh. Yeah, Charlton Heston, Gary Cooper. That is fascinating how, how they're bringing, uh, bringing the real world in the... This world kind of in. Oh, yep, yep, Mickey Mouse. I knew it. The evolution of the most popular cartoon dog in history. Yeah, wow. Comet's first short. Spaceship Boogie. It's probably the most popular, but I think there are better Comet shorts than this one. Spaceship Boogie. Yeah, well, the mouse is, uh, that, that version of the mouse, at least, is, uh, public domain now. Oosh. Comet's costumes in the 30s were creepy as hell. This guy looks like the dude in a bear suit from The Shining. It is creepy. Walton always said that his beagle Monty was the main inspiration for Comet. I wonder what the main inspiration for Mickey Mouse was. His macho one-liners might sound a little outdated nowadays, but man... <laughs> Bogart as Doc Wolf is film history. Huh. These aren't actual movies, are they? Like, the Dame Shot first? Because I... I'm kind of a cinephile, but that doesn't sound familiar, even though I know the actors. Oh yeah. I grew tired of the Barry and Slim slapstick movies quickly. But the serious film they did was good. Huh. Was that like, uh, like Laurel and Hardy? Or am I just, am I just dense? The adaptation of one of H.A. Ryan's horror novels. Jean Carroll in The Traveling Companion. Genevieve May and Hugh March. Huh. Interesting. Boy from Minnesota. All right. All right. Oh, heck yes. There's a gift shop. I've never ridden this thing, but according to my research, the access to the luggage scanning area is inside there. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Well, I have to check out the gift shop first. That little pins nice and things. Souvenirs. Yep. Yep. Cool. Cool. Uh, period accurate clothing. Okay, okay. Oh, you can even buy wigs and fake mustaches. That's fun. Yep. Outfits approved by the strict Arcadia Visitor Dressing Code. Hmm. Fascinating. Another one of those crappy books full of high praise for AA. Everything you wanted to know about the greatest TV show of all times. American Arcadia Insider. Forward by Vivian Walton. Explore the captivating world behind the scenes of the acclaimed TV show American Arcadia and delve into its intriguing mix of drama and entertainment. Get an exclusive look into the casting, writing, and production challenges 
that have shaped the memorable moments of American Arcadia throughout its history. Fascinating. Also, have I mentioned how freaking weird it is that not a single person in this world has a nose? I mean, the nose brings the whole face together, you know? It just, it's, it's weird. These do not break the fourth wall, for sure. I, uh, sense some sarcasm laced in there. Yeah. Inac, the biggest company that never existed. The biggest company that never existed. Corporation None. Interesting. Okay. One of these mugs was in my AA welcome pack after they moved me to the 21st floor. And went straight into the trash. AA welcome pack? Oh, American Arcadia. <laughs> uh, that's not the AA I was thinking of. Okay, okay. So is this like a, are there changing rooms? Hey miss, you can't enter here. Sorry. Exit only. Oh, Oops. for the ride. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> okay. I had to try. Yep, yep. Cool. Okay, I guess we're going on the ride. Regular entrance and speedway entrance. Elijah Walton's Dream of Tomorrow. Please tell me I paid for the speedway. Hello? Hello? Can I Okay, nope. Cool. We're... Wait, wait, haha! <laughs> yes! Of course I paid for the speedway. Why wouldn't I? Science always finds a way. Let's see what this ride is all about. Oh, quite the ride. Or quite the, quite the line. Is there only one car? Huh. And it's waiting just for me! Oh, the, uh, the power of money. Welcome to Elijah Walton's Dream of Tomorrow. Embark on a journey to discover how the greatest creative genius of the 20th century envisioned and built Arcadia. For your safety, please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle and supervise your children. Elijah Walton was born in 1900 in a small rural community of Minnesota. Influenced by his favorite author, Jules Verne, young Elijah dreamed of being a novelist or a scientist, but he ended up working in the film industry instead. Is that like an animatronic? After working as a scriptwriter in Hollywood in the 30s, Elijah and his brother Donald founded their own company, Walton Pictures. Together, they produced many successful box office hits, some of which are now considered timeless classics. I literally can't tell the difference between the animatronics and the people. But Elijah Walton wanted to reach a broader audience beyond the movie theater, and his wishes were ultimately fulfilled when television arrived in all the living rooms in America. Science always finds a way. And what a way that was! Broadcast in Visiorama, the innovative 3D audio and video system, Architects of Tomorrow became a must-see show every Saturday night in the 1950s. 3D? The show was famous for its unique songs, its combination of live action and animation, and the closing goodbye message from Elijah Walton in his prototype electric car, known as the Walton Mobile. Huh. Or higher than ever before. After a decade of unprecedented success, Walton Pictures, now known as Walton Media, decided to undertake its most ambitious project, the acquisition of a huge piece of land in the Midwest to build the city of tomorrow. A city named Arcadia. Along with Walton's right-hand man and Architects of Tomorrow host, Arpad Kovacs, the first prototype of the Arcadia project began construction. This small prototype community is known today as Classic Arcadia or Old Arcadia. Hmm. Interesting. Sadly, a heart failure deprived Elijah Walton of seeing his magnum opus finished. Wow. On June 3rd, 1963, the world of entertainment 
entertainment mourned the loss of the most creative and talented mind of the 20th century. Oh, what about when Kovacs was kicked to the curb? Mm, don't you have an animatronic for that? Hmm. Overcoming his grief for the loss of his brother, Donald Walton took the reins of the company. Under his guidance, Project Arcadia was finished on schedule. American Arcadia's premiere is still the second most watched event in American television history, just after the Apollo 11 moon landing. Wow. And the first Arcadia residents didn't even know their private lives were being sold and broadcasted. The success of the show attracted so many new residents to the city that old Arcadia soon became too small. It was evident that a larger, broader, and more modern city was needed. And thanks to the cooperation between Walton Media and Senator Milton Burbank, the Burbank Act was approved, so Arcadia grew and expanded to the size that Elijah Walton had always envisioned. Hmm. You are omitting the tiny detail that the small print of the Burbank Act allowed Walton Media to lock people up as if they were inside a damn zoo. This is the Arcadia we all know and love. Wow. An immense retro-futuristic metropolis inside a weather-controlled dome where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. Broadcast live 24-7 for more than 55 seasons. The most watched media phenomenon on the planet. Mm, but it's a negative growth now, Vivian dear. Now that you know the story, you're ready to begin your journey. Soon you'll be accessing your entry checkpoint to Arcadia. As we speak, your luggage is being carried straight to your hotel room. There it is, my suitcase. I'll have to get into that room. Oh, wow. My grandfather, right. Elijah Walton, had a dream. To build the city of tomorrow. A dream that my great-uncle Don continued. Now, it's up to me, Vivian Walton, to keep that dream alive. But this dream wouldn't be a reality if it weren't for you. Because you truly are my grandfather's dream. You are Arcadia. You truly are my grandfather's dream. Shut your pie hole, you stupid bitch. Uh... Okay, well... Yep. Well, cool. So how do I... That's interesting that they timed my suitcase going across that rack right as I was driving under it. Okay, so there's a cast room. Oh, hello. Architects of Tomorrow, Walton Pictures. A broken animatronic from the first section of the ride. Its number is 6711. Is that going to be important later? 6711. 6711. Ah! Ah! An automatically opening door. And nobody's up here. Oh, good for me. Override uh -huh. control? No, it's not working. No? Okay. Hmm. Okay, so how do I get through here? Uh, does this open? Yes. This must be the cast member's room. Beautiful. A red light indicates an animatronic malfunction. Oh, fascinating. Use your key to activate the manual override. Select the ride section where the problem is. Enter the animatronic number from the selected section. A red light in every section will immediately stop the ride. Ah, interesting. If the ride stops, the ride doors will open. Okay. So how do I cause a uh, catastrophic failure? Ah, an attraction always loses a bit of its charm when you see how it works from inside. <sighs> Not this <laughs> one. Didn't have any charm to begin with. Hey. Okay. Um. Oh, oh here's a key. <laughs> this must be the key for the manual override. Can I take it? How do I... Okay, cool. What is this? A repair receipt. Animatronic repair malfunction. Animatronic is reactivated. Working hours undeclared. For 9518. 
Okay. And this one is six seven one one. Hello. Yeah, so it was yeah, the first section of the ride. Oh crap. Um six seven one one. Yep. Now function. Let me in. Oh. Uh two seven one two. That's malfunctioning. And what have we got over here? Something one eight. How am I supposed to figure that out? Something one eight. There's gotta be a clue somewhere. Um, um wait a minute, wait a minute. Nine five one eight. Yes. Let's go. Nine five one eight. <laughs> I managed to sabotage the ride. Good. It wasn't right. worth the wait anyway. So now, can I just like... Oh, yes! And all the people cleared out. Beautiful. Screw you, Vivian. Nobody likes you. Ugh. Silent animatronics give me the creeps. Yeah, even more than... Like, moving animatronics? Okay, interesting, interesting. Well, I guess I'm going through uh, the vent. I have to crawl inside that duct. Hey, you're going to be making Trevor crawl through ducts in three days. Get with the program. Okay, Blitz Cola. I'm really glad there aren't any people back here. Because that would be awkward. Hmm, my luggage info might be on my Arcadia e ticket. Better check my phone. The conveyor belt has stopped. But I don't see my suitcase in here. So AA3. Hold up. Okay, so. Oh. Luggage. Right, so departure... No, okay, so departure and arrival don't matter. This table shows the locker assigned to each car and seat. Okay, car 10, seat 22. So car 10, seat 22. So that's locker 2i. Locker 2i. What? Okay, AA3? The AA4 over there. Okay, here's AA3. Uh, two I, two I. Is this it? Oh, those are departure times. That should be it. Hey. Okay, I'll leave the badge inside. Let's hope I could get Trevor to the Cygnus in time. And then, out of Arcadia. I'll talk to you in three days. Alright. Cool, cool. Trevor? Trevor, can you hear me? Huh? The coast is clear. Out of there, now. Jeez, that took a long time. I almost fell asleep inside that cart. You need to get into the luxury suite at the end of this hallway so you can grab the badge. And make sure no one sees you without it. The end of the hallway. Okay. What's the suite number? Oh, the door's open. Hey, there's an auto droid in here. It's preparing the room, just Please ignore it. I need to turn the instant delivery device on. What the turning off? Knock it off, Wally. I cannot see your badge. 
Please make sure you're back. Room is not. Please stop, stop turning stop on different Turning off. Turning off. Hmm. God, I hate this stupid robot. <sighs> is there something I can do? I have no idea what I'm doing. This machine is supposed to bring your suitcase here, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. I got it, I got it. Right, okay, so let's turn that on. And turn that off. Boom. Come on. No! Oh, stop turning everything off! Oh! Knock it off, Wally! Watch this. Unidentified individual. Please wear your badge or leave the room immediately. Room is not ready yet. Turning off device. Oh no. No. I'm trapped. That was a great <laughs> idea, Trevor. <laughs> That's what I call teamwork. Yeah, although I kind of feel guilty about that poor droid. Shouldn't the luggage be here already? No, 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 you didn't use the badge to access your room, so technically you're not inside the room yet. And that's why I need to manually redirect my suitcase through the instant delivery card. It's, it's okay, Kovacs, I don't need to know every detail. It's just that this plan is getting a little confusing. Uh, just leave it to me, okay? I, g give me a second. Oh. Well, well, well. Where are you, you tacky, hideous suitcase? Ah, there it is. I have to reroute the conveyor belt to get it to the suite. Let's see. This is to open and close that hatch. So will it come back through here? Okay, okay. We're gonna route it over to B. From there... Hmm. This changes the direction of the conveyor belt. Yes. Yes. That'll send it off that way. Uh, okay, my orientation is thrown off. Okay, no. I see what's going on. This switch rotates this thing. Okay. That gets stuck there. Toggle direction. Um... Yeah? No! I wanted to send it the other way. Wait, what? Okay, where am I going from there? Okay, so that's B. So I wanted to go through there. Which means I need to bring it down this way. Uh... Uh-oh. Wait, so E... E, B. That's E. Okay, this is E, B. Because that's, that's the same... Okay. Um... It looks like all of the... tracks are coming into the center there. I think I wanted to go down this way, but I don't know where that leads. Uh-oh. That's not what I wanted. Okay, okay, I see. I see. So where'd the bag go? I went through B, right? So is it going to come back out this way? Nope, there it is. There it is. Okay. Okay, so send it that way. Which will send it off through D. Which... Where is that going to come out?
Oh, we came back out here. Okay. So how do I... There's no way to reverse that. So B brings it back out this way. Wait, except if that was blocked, no, it brings it out that way. Okay, so if I send it through B, it comes back up this way. Right? Or was that D? Okay. <laughs> This is... Okay, where are you gonna come out? Either gonna come out this way or that way. But if it comes out this way, it'll get stuck on this door. But if it comes out that way, then that's the same direction as D did. Right? Whoa! How'd it... How'd it get over there? Hey, I'm not gonna complain. So I want that. Nope! Nope! Oh, okay. Okay, so I'll block that. How do I... Gotcha. So do that. Do that. There we go. Ah, I think I figured it out. Beautiful. And here is your luggage, Mister. Hey. Okay, I got the badge. Finally, that aggravating hunk of metal was a real pain in the ass. You mean the badge or the droid? I think the answer to that is yes. Okay, you know what? I feel bad leaving it in there. Now, Trevor, go to the elevator on the left side and join Group 6. They'll be exiting the city soon. Okay. Okay, whatever. Okay, so she planned it so that when the group that uh, Sylvia signed up for was gonna be leaving town. Hello. It was the day that Hello. she broke them out. Hey, you and Group 6, pal? A PA called Group 6 to the bus stop just a few minutes ago. Oh, really? Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, and by the way, I have to say, your look is amazing, man. Straight from the good old 70s. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Good old seven days! Trevor, shut your mouth. What year are we in? We're in 2023. We're in the future? Lower your voice, damn it. It's Arcadia that's in the past. It's always been. I'll explain it to you later. Yeah, I hope she does, because I'm... Because, oh, wait a minute. So if generations of people have grown up in Arcadia, oh, like maybe two or three generations, would the years have not have been progressing the, the whole time? Like, how how are they still stuck in the 70s? Have a nice day in Arcadia, sir. Thank you, but I'm afraid today is my last day in the city. Oh, we're so sorry to see you leave, but please come back soon. Trevor, what are you doing? You plan on becoming BFS with the clerk? I was just being polite. What is being polite an old-fashioned custom in 2023 or what? Yeah, it Group kind of six, is. Please, uh, come to the backyard bus stop. Yeah, yeah. Group six. Group yes. Six, please yes. come to the backyard bus stop. Yep. Coming. Hold, hold the bus. On my way. Just hold, hold, hold the bus, please. I'm a coming. Yep. Look, Trevor, it's almost over. There's the bus. Don't do anything stupid. Just get on and zip your trap until we reach the checkpoint. Group six? Group six, please. Uh, with me, here. I I know we were supposed to be leaving in a few minutes, what? but uh, there seems to be some sort of last minute problem with our bus. 
Uh, but don't worry, our good friend Antonio is gonna try to fix it, and I am sure we will be on the road in a jiffy. So uh, don't worry, folks. I guarantee you we will make it to the central station in time. Oh, no way, you gotta be kidding me. Hmm. What was that jingle? Oh. Hello? Kovacs. Who are you? How did you get this number? This is Breakout speaking. I am number six. Listen carefully. The chief of security is headed to your office right now. He will be there any minute. What? My office? B but what's going There is no time. Listen. Act casual and try to answer everything calmly. Avoid mentioning any kind of involvement with Trevor Hills. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll try to remember. Good luck. We're counting on you, Kovacs. Hey everybody, so uh, I have some good news and some bad news. Uh, which one do you guys want first? Okay, the bad news is that the bus carrying us to Arcadia Central Station is definitely out of order. But, but, the good news is that you get some extra free time until a new bus comes. <laughs> you get to do some sightseeing. Isn't that great? <gasps> oh, come on. I know, I know, I know, folks. I am, I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, uh, but I will see you on the other side of Memory Lake. So please make your way over there and just wait for the new bus to come. Uh oh Kovacs, I can see one of the beastie guys, and he's looking for someone. No, 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 no. Damn it, what do I do? Move, Trevor, stay hidden. Oh. This is interesting. Hello, my name is Marcus Javert, Arcadia's chief of security. My job? To make sure nobody leaves Arcadia. My means? Whatever I consider necessary. My aptitudes? Hand to hand and armed combat, high speed pursuit, open field manhunt and detecting when someone is lying to me. If you'll excuse me, I have a few yeah. questions to ask. Angel is a terrible liar. Yeah, no problem. Who are you talking to? Miss Solano. Is your name pronounced Angela or Angela? Both are fine, but uh, most people call me. No, 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 no. Oh, Trevor! I've got you now, Miss Solano. If you'll excuse me, I have oh, a few questions to ask. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, of course, no, yeah, no problem. Who are you talking to? Miss Solano. Is your name pronounced Angela or Angela? Both are fine, but uh, most people call me Angela. Your name fine. Is Angela? Let's proceed. Um, <clears throat> may I ask why you're... I'm afraid that information is classified. All I can say is we're facing an extremely exceptional situation. And exceptional situations call for exceptional measures. That right they now, do. I'm gathering information from all Walton stage technicians. <sighs> no, 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 no. Wait, what? what are you doing there? How? How am I? If you'll excuse me, I have a few questions to ask. Uh huh. Uh, of course, no, yeah, no problem. Who are you talking to? Miss Solano. Is your name pronounced Angela or Angela? Both are fine, but uh, most people call me Angela. Oh, that's okay. So I need to be on the lookout for those guys. You better have an explanation for this. Yes. Okay. Now I know what I'm doing. Let's do this. If you'll excuse me, I have a few questions to ask. Uh, uh, of course. Yeah. No problem. Who are you talking to? Miss Solano. Is your name pronounced Angela or Angela? I gotta wait for that Both guy to are pass. Both fine, but uh, most people call me Angela. And go. let's proceed. Um, may I ask why you're... I'm afraid that information is classified. All I can say is we're facing an extremely exceptional situation. Uh-huh, uh -huh. exceptional situations call for exceptional measures. That they right do, now, sir, I'm that they do. i information from all Walton stage technicians. So, is this like a, an interrogation, or...? Think of it more as a loyalty test. If you will, I'll read you the questions out okay. loud. Please select whichever answer best represents your views. I'll display the possible answers for you on the monitor to your right. I'm loading the app now. Hold on a second. Glad he didn't pick that monitor. Uh huh. Yep. That's uh, it's taking a while to load. According to you. 
Which one of the following is or has been the most influential figure in Arcadia? Uh, well, Vivian Walton, of course. Vivian Walton. A revealing answer. I'll make note of that. Yeah. Revealing. What do you mean by that? Loading the next question. I should have said Elijah. Island. Let me write that down, Miss Solano. Uh huh. Now you're gonna move. Which one of the following oh. images best describes your five years, Good. eight months, and seven days of work at Walton Media? Which one best describes? Uh, party? Yeah. The party balloons. Interesting. Yes. Let's of course. proceed. Loading the next question. There we go. I don't want to risk it. There we go. <laughs> yep, I'm ready for that next question. What does the initiative known as Breakout mean to you? Oh, they're evil. Yeah, no. They are a dangerous activist group that threatens Walton Media's interests. Are you sure you want to answer them? You can change your answer oh, yeah. if you like. To totally sure. No, yeah. They're dangerous. Mm, no. No, I want to keep my answer. A controversial opinion, definitely. Loading the next question. Come on, guys, move. There we go, there we go. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. Refrain from selecting the image that does not match your personal preferences or likings. What? What? Wait, the image that does not fit my personal preferences? The Molotov cocktail? I don't think you understood what I was asking you. But let's go on. Okay. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Oh, that's the one that has a ripple effect. Please indicate which one of the following patterns you consider the easiest to recognize. Easiest to recognize? Um, I don't know that one, I guess. The yellow and orange comet pattern. Okay. Oh. Just one thing before the final question. Ms. That was Sarah, the wrong answer. If you lied to me with any of your answers, I will know. Uh huh. I wouldn't expect anything else. Does Subject 10392 Clear Text Trevor Hills mean anything to you? No. Who? Pay attention. No. Doesn't ring a bell. Isn't no. subject 10392 in your assigned citizen's grid? Oh, give me that. Uh, yes, he is. Yeah, I thought, um. I'm gonna go for it. That's it. We're finished. Mm -hmm. It's been a really productive session. Oh, I'm uh, glad. Okay. D uh, did, did I pass the test or? I will contact you again as soon as I have verified the results. All and right. I will be watching you, Miss Solano. All right. You're just doing your job. Oh my gosh. That 11, was, 12, that was close. 13, 13. Whatever. As long as you have a badge with the right number, the more the merrier. We are leaving now. Into the bus, please. Oh. What bus? Okay, I'm back, Trevor. So, is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. What's that all about? Well, they suspect me now. I'm not sure if he busted me, but I don't know. We better haul ass, man. Yeah. Getting ahead yeah. of the group. So, I guess it's Angela? Yeah, it is. Angela Solano.
The truth is, I really outdid myself when concealing my identity. But once Trevor had heard my real voice and my real name, what sense did it make to keep using an alias? Okay, group six, please go ahead and get into the bus. That's fair, I guess. All right, under the bus. <clears throat> uh, good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming. <clears throat> uh, welcome to the Arcadia Central Station checkpoint. Uh, as you know, after so many years of requests, Arcadia, the city of tomorrow, uh, is finally opening to the regular public. This entrance behind me is not only the first of many access points for all our visitors, it is a gate to Utopia. Either by visiting its iconic landmarks or strolling through its magnificent avenues and parks, every visitor will now be a part of American Arcadia. And our brand new security measures will guarantee the well-being of our visitors and that of all the Arcadian-born citizens. We're making sure that they can safely enjoy the posthumous work of my brother, Elijah Walton. And we're hoping they take in all that this wonderful city suspended in time has to offer. Thank you. Uh, any questions? <clears throat> yes. Mr. Walton, is it true that these new security measures are related to the incident known as the Arcadia Six breakout? Um, uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I, I won't be addressing any, uh, questions related to unfounded rumors. So, uh, but I will be crystal clear about this. Nobody in his right mind would want to leave a city like Arcadia. Y you know what? The, the press conference is over. Thank you. Okay, folks, hmm. we are finally here. This is the Arcadia Central Station. Uh, my right. name is... Well... Uh, that was the end of chapter two, and I've been recording for a while, so I think we're going to call it here. Yeah, I will definitely be coming back to this for more episodes until we get through the game, because I am enjoying the heck out of this. If you also enjoyed, please drop a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to stay tuned. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.